But hey mates, it's Anuthika here with a kangaroo commentary. I uh, figured I should start recording some commentaries over my games, as most of it's just been gameplay thus far, and I would like you guys to get to know who I am and how I uh, play during games and what my strategies are. I'll also never be saying g'day mates at the start of a video again, because it's uh, not something we really say here that often. Um, Today it's myself and Ultima Otaku playing a 2v3 Slayer on a Powerhouse. Uh, our third person dropped out at the start of the game, unfortunately, and left us to to our own devices. Um, so we used our uh, usual strategy of if it's the two of us together, of just trying to stay as close as possible, trying to team shot some people, pull out what kills we can. Um, Generally when I play Halo, I tend to not have any real strategy going into a game other than maybe picking a power weapon I'm going to go for, but it's really hard to tell until you spawn, depending on what team you are and uh, what location it chooses to give you. Um, but as I said, in games like this, Ultima Taco and I will stick together, try and make sure we don't get killed too much, uh, try and force the other team into a crossfire of us, try and pull out what kills we can. Um, in uh, DMR, Team DMR's uh, situation, I tend to stick with my DMR, occasionally swapping my secondary weapon, as if you can get your timing right and get your aim right, pulling off headshots isn't really that hard, it doesn't take much to give, get a kill, and a lot of people still spam the trigger, so you're going to defeat those spammers 9 times out of 10. Um, in, uh, Ultima Otaku is pretty much the same as me in that respect. Um, here with the rockets, <laughs> missed my first shot terribly, missed out on a triple kill, but may cut for it with a double. Um, I'm, I'm tending to play these games now that it's so far off the launch, with mostly the goal to keep myself used to Halo in preparation for Halo 4, which is what my recordings will shift to as soon as it comes out. Uh, I've very much enjoyed playing Halo Reach, uh, I know a lot of people in the community haven't liked it as much as previous titles, but I still quite enjoy it. I found that some of the balancing was a little bit off, but other than that it was a solid game. Um, when I load into these games, I tend to stick with only using my sprint, uh, mostly because I don't have any use for the other armor abilities. I'm not big on jetpacks. I, I don't really use the other abilities. Um, only other one I used to use was drop shield a bit in objective game types, but it's mostly been pulled out now, so I tend not to use it. Um, I'm a, a big fan of most of the maps, uh, Powerhouse is one that doesn't come up super often and it was one of the good beta maps, so Ultima and us, myself try to vote for it when we can. Um, most of the time these days you get Forge World variants or things like uh, Sword Base or uh, The Cage, things like that. Um, we're, we're big fans of some of the other maps, mostly because they're different looking than Forge World and they've got some nice flow. Um, I'm personally a bigger fan of objective game types as I like my goal to be something in particular rather than just killing. It sort of reflects in my kill death ratio, oh, there was a double kill, as it's sitting about 1.1, still staying positive but not by much, whereas my win losses are up rather high, mostly due to our objective game type wins. Uh, it's one of the things that annoys me slightly about the Halo community at the moment when uh, one game's on its way out and another one's soon to be released is that people tend to just be playing objective types and going solely for kills. Uh, it takes away from what it's meant to be, it also takes away from the fun. Uh, especially when it's just the two of us, we don't have those people to coordinate with to uh, wipe them out and still hold the objective. However, we still have a lot of fun in it. Um, I'm also a big fan of a lot of games, so if there's anything in particular you guys would like to see me playing, I would like to hear about it in the comments, or if you find me on Twitter, I work at a video store, so I'm more than happy to pick up something else and record some gameplay of it, do some more commentaries over the top. Uh, I'm hoping to start maybe a set of portal playthroughs soon showing how poorly I remember my puzzles. 
Um, I'll also be uploading some more Halo 3 stuff, maybe some Halo 2 PC stuff if I can get around to getting it to work. Um, but for now it'll mostly be Reach and as I said Halo 4 when it's released, i am cleaning up and saving Ultima's butt there. Um, if you're ever playing in this situation, make sure you keep an eye on where your body's tag is. Pay very, very close attention to your radar. Seems to be a big flaw in a lot of people's games, not watching their radars and then getting snuck up on. Um, but if you keep with your body, try and keep group shotting. Um, straying a little bit isn't too bad, but you tend to pick up the extra kills and you'll also reduce the amount of deaths you've got. A lot of the time we'll lose our shields, but we will live and take out the person and it gives us a few seconds to recover. Um, also do yourself a favour, try and play around with a lot of the weapons. I know that it seems like a good idea to just stick with the DMR, but in different situations, different weapons work better. Um, a lot of the power weapons work well, but the assault rifle is really good for close range situations. I've defeated a lot of people trying to DMR me at close range when I've had an assault rifle. Um, you'll also find that for, for myself and Ultimo being Australians, our internet isn't the best, so we do come up against a lot of lag or a lot of things that seem to be changing the way the weapons function or the blast radius. For example, rocket launcher doesn't always have the blast radius that it does for other people. Um, sometimes it even blows people up when it looks like it shouldn't have, purely because the lag has restricted it showing it going properly, or whereas a lot of American host or other countries host, they have some nice internet and they tend to not have that problem. We've adapted pretty well, but it's one of the reasons that you don't see us getting too many huge multi-kills or big sprees. Because we do get a few situations where it feels like we should have killed them, um, but due to the host being our internet, we sort of get messed around a little bit. Um, we still try and do our best as the situation provides. Um, Ultima does that a little bit better than me. Uh, before Halo 4 we're trying to get our teamwork up better so that we can uh, pull out some big stuff on the first few days while everyone's relatively new to it. As you can see here, I'm trying to duck out of the range every time my shield starts flaring, except for there where the guys jumped on my face. <coughs> um, I'm sorry about that guys. Uh, right about now, uh, the other player on their team has dropped out, he was going 11-0, and, and unfortunately for him he just really couldn't do much, but he's decided that he would rather quit rather than playing through. Um, that does happen a bit, but you just try and make the most of it, it means we're back to an even playing field, though by now tomorrow myself are pretty much destroying them, they've yet to reach their double digit kills. Um, it's games like this that unfortunately they're though very solid in teamwork and kills and all of that type of stuff, the gameplay starts to be a bit slow so it can be a little bit boring to watch. It's those type of games that I will try and do commentary as best I can over the top of them. Um, and hopefully we'll start seeing some uh, of the same games up from Ultima's perspective so you can get a bit of a look of how he plays. He runs slightly differently to me, he's got slightly better aim, though we both tend to stick with our sprint. Um, I'll also try and get us some in-game direct commentary so you can see how we, how we speak as a team, also some of the uh, stupid things we do and we realise because there's been a few quite stupid betrayals. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard us, but speaking for a good 12 minutes, kind of run out of things to say. Um, I'd like to give a shout out to people like Cnanas and Hutch, who are the reason that I really wanted to start getting into this. If you haven't checked them out, do go ahead and find their YouTube channels. They're quite entertaining, quite good gamers. Um, and if you haven't already, check out some of the uh, XMLG players' YouTube, play uh, YouTube pages. They've got some good videos up from Halo 4. So if you guys are keen for that, you'll be able to get a bit of the lowdown, uh, especially a few that went up after this PAX event. Um, 
one of the other bad things about living in Australia, we miss out on things like that. So hoping in the next few years to maybe get down to Comic Con in San Diego. Um, maybe we'll be able to check out Halo 5 when it comes out. Uh, I'd really like to see some of these E3 builds before the game comes out rather than having to wait till launch day and dealing with these server issues. Oh, again, bad rocket launching by me. Just ignore some of my terrible, terrible decision making in this game. It tends to be made up for by Ultima's quick shots or occasionally just bad opponents that don't punish me for my mistakes. And this is also one of the first times I've rewatched this video since recording it, so I'm getting a tiny bit distracted by the gameplay. Well, if memory serves, we're not far off. It's about a minute and a half left in the game. This didn't run to uh, full score. One of the issues with 2 on 2 was 2 on 3 is there really isn't enough time to pull out a full game unless they're stupidly feeding you kills, which they really weren't. To a point, anyway. Um, paying attention to my radar, I can tell there's a guy up here that I run into an ambush, which is never a good thing. Yeah, if, if in doubt, guys, run away from a fight. Don't keep running into it just because you think you're going to die. A lot of the time, if you pull back, you can get your shield back and then be able to pick off one or two of them as they chase you. Oh, double beat down there. Um, you see far too many people that just keep running into the situations and getting owned. And it really doesn't help anyone. Alright, guys, well, thank you very much for uh, watching the video today. I will try and put up some more. Oh, and there's me failing. Um, as I said, try and put up some comments. Let me know what you guys want to see me playing. Like and favorite. Maybe even subscribe to my channel. I will continue doing this as much as I can. Anyway, enjoy the video. Thanks.